Nationwide gas prices have hit the highest level we have seen in the last six months. Right now, the national average 358 a gallon. That is up 20 cents a gallon from a month ago. And experts say gas prices could reach $4 in some places by the time summer hits. The cost of fuel is rapidly shooting for the sky every day in the United States. Fuel is an essential commodity that plays a major role in the development and prosperity of any country. Not many Americans will agree with this fact, though, as the fuel price has gone on an all-high increase in margin in the last couple of weeks, with a huge blow to motorists, transport companies, industries, and the U.S. citizens all at the receiving end. It is what it is, but I'm actually planning to sell my truck because the gas is so high or the diesel, so I'm going to sell it this summer. So what exactly is really happening? Stock experts have advised U.S. citizens to hoard enough fuel to last them through this period of crisis, as they don't know how long it will last. In a short while, we will discover the cause of this unbecoming event that has become quite a national glare, and also speak on what's at stake. Petroleum prices are determined by market forces of supply and demand, not by individual companies. In this regard, the price of crude oil is the primary factor that determines the price we pay at the pump, and crude oil prices are based on the demand for gas and petroleum products in the United States. Crude oil prices are higher. They're now above $80 per barrel. Uh, also, we're seeing increased demand. Of course, uh, recently had spring break. Uh, many other cities mm -hmm. around Texas are starting spring break soon and into next week. So that uh, demand for gasoline puts upward pressure on the prices at the pump. Uh, and then also, so that causes supplies to go down. When the supply of gasoline decreases, the price increases. Suppliers know that fuel is a crucial resource, so they can often set their own prices and apply financial pressure when there are problems with their supply chain. Due to a combination of factors like the above average gas taxes along the west coast of Pennsylvania, transportation costs, and several refinery-related issues, including a fire at a Montana facility and an outage at a British petroleum refinery in Indiana, for sure, drivers can expect to pay the highest price for a gallon of gas that boasts an average of $4.70, a slight uptick from the previous month, but decently below the price drivers saw in the Aloha State last year. Recall, I mentioned that the price of fuel cannot be determined by an individual or state. Rather, they are predetermined by the market forces, especially if these market forces are top oil-producing nations or states like Saudi Arabia and Russia. A slight nudge with these nations, and you are surely kissing your oil production goodbye. However, U.S. drivers have seen the most expensive fuel prices at the pump in three months, as the national average price for a gallon of fuel continues to inch up. They can expect prices to keep surging due to unforeseen circumstances, such as the maintenance of the American refineries that cause a chain reaction that overplays the conflicts in the Middle East. This cocktail of feud and vendetta threatens to push oil prices upwards. That is keeping crude oil prices elevated because everyone in the markets is concerned about how a more widespread conflict in the Middle East could impact crude oil production. So that's why the conflict is impacting crude oil prices. Speaking of conflicts, the recent spike in fuel prices comes as fuel demand continues to increase from 8 million barrels per day in the U.S. late last month to 8.8 .8 million barrels per day last week. Some notable reasons for this recent price surge can be accredited to the spike last year after oil giants Saudi Arabia and Russia cut production, with Saudi Arabia reducing its daily outflow by 1 million barrels per day, and Russia extending a reduction on its oil exports by 300,000 barrels per day. Also, the recent attacks on ships passing through the Red Sea and the conflict in the Gaza Strip have threatened to keep pushing oil prices upward, posing a likely increase in gas prices at the pump across all states. It really could alter the calculus for oil supplies and prices coming out of that region that exports about 20 million barrels a day uh, to the rest of the world. The pump price in the United States has been gradually increasing for three consecutive weeks. Data from more than 150,000 gas stations nationwide indicates that prices have risen by 9.6 cents. Experts in fuel prices have given a sound warning to motorists to expect a bumpy transition to EPA-mandated summer gasoline, a higher cost and more efficient fuel blend.
New tonight, the EPA is issuing an emergency waiver to allow E15 gasoline to be sold during the summer driving season. This would provide relief at the pump from ongoing market supply issues. Last month, the state ended its lawsuit against the EPA over the delay of allowing E15 gas sales year round. Although early season gas prices have raised concerns among analysts of a price spike later this spring, the price drivers pay this week is still lower than the price at the pump at this time last year and the year before. To prepare for high gas prices, it's best to make a plan and backup strategy. Keeping in mind that international turmoil, natural disasters, and supply chain issues can cause gas prices to fluctuate. Your best bet is to stock up on fuel points. Take advantage of any state tax relief and use gas apps to find the best deals at the pump. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification by clicking the bell icon so you won't miss more of this video. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching.